Hi everybody, Bailey, Director of Innovation at Intelligentsia. We're gonna look at the Flare 58 Plus. So this is a manual espresso machine and it is a direct lever. So you manually move the piston up and down, you directly push on the water through the puck. There's no spring, there's no pump, it's you directly on the coffee. This is a 58 millimeter machine, so it does have a lot of compatibility with a lot of the aftermarket accessories. You'll be able to you know, get with all the crazy baskets and other tamps and things like that that you, might, that you might be interested in. That makes getting things to mod this to be very accessible if that's something you're interested in. However, it comes with everything you need out of the box, so it's got the 58 millimeter portafilter comes with a nice basket. Mine came with an IMS basket. I think sometimes this changes over the years. So, you know, look out for that. I do like that it's polished finish. It just feels very premium. And the walnut handle feels very soft and warm. I really like that compared to a synthetic material here. There's also nice walnut accents on this handle that feel good and that's carried over to the palm tamp that it comes with. I like the palm tamp for its you know, sort of sleek uh, stature. You can sort of just position it level and then press and uh, great design for that. I like that it comes with a pressure gauge so you get to see what you're doing when you're doing it, um, whether you're doing you know, a ramp up, pre-infusion, you're doing a flat pressure profile, tapering, any of this stuff it's really nice to have the pressure gauge to see what's going on there and this does have a, an electric band in here that's heating the reservoir so technically you don't need a kettle you could put ambient water in there and it would heat it up you could brew with that it would be a pretty bad experience in your workflow so do pick up some kind of kettle to go in here um, and then there is like I said an electric mechanism to heat that. So I'm going to show you what that looks like really quick. I'm going to disconnect this cord. So this just connects onto the machine. Here's the switch that turns it on. You hold this down and then click over to one of the pre presets for heating. There's the power block and this is the length of the rest of your cord. So you get an idea of what you're dealing with there. I just always use the max hot on the, on the preset and go from there. Uh, it does come with a little drain tray, drip tray here in case there's any messes and keeps that nice and contained there. You don't really need to use this I mean, there's not really issues, but um, in the event of something catastrophic, you know, this is there, which is nice. Uh, it does also come with a second basket. This is the truncated one, a little smaller if you're looking for some smaller doses and a puck screen. This is pretty important actually. The Flare 58 does not come with a dispersion screen. It's not built into the design. So this is, helps to absorb some impact of the water going down into the puck. And it can dig a bit of a divot and then you'll have some exaggerated uneven flow through the coffee. This helps to mitigate that. I do often like to use a puck disc Instead, this is three layers of sintered mesh and it really should be cleaned in an ultrasonic bath. I prefer to use the disc because it's a lot easier to clean and it's still gonna mitigate some of the impact and then also it is still gonna help prevent coffee grounds, loose little powder from going back up into the reservoir and mucking that up. So it's still effective. Um, it does not come with a scale. You will want something like that. I like the Akaya Lunar. Uh, there's also a flare scale if you're interested in that and let's see who is this for i think that this is a couple different things to different people so for some people they're going to enter into espresso in a different space do i want to do this do i want to go down this rabbit hole do i like this and they might start off with a different model from flare and eventually decide yes espresso is incredible i want this and move to the 58 as their end game. The, somebody else might be looking to enter with the 58. It's wildly affordable for what it is. 
and allows tons of flexibility. Also, the direct lever helps to teach you a lot about how to prepare espresso. And so this might be somebody's entry point and then maybe they move on to an automated machine later. In any case, this is still an end game machine. Even if somebody were to move on to a significantly more expensive, a 10 times more expensive machine, this still offers flexibility that almost no other machine on the market has. And that's why most people, even if they you know, upgrade, they're still keeping this because it is so unique on what it can offer you as the one brewing the espresso. So I think that's part of what makes the Flare 58 one of the most important machines to be made in recent history. I do hope you pick one of these up. You can find it online at intelligentsia.com. Thanks.